When I hear the word makeup, I think long lashes, red lips, and beauty. Glitz and glam, palettes, primping, and powder. Yes. Mm, actually, no. Because if you're looking to transform into an eight-foot-tall monster, complete with horns, fangs, and retractable skin, then you call upon Hollywood makeup and special effects master, Glenn Hetrick. In our world, it's paint, plaster, and prosthetics, and it is going to get grimy. Grimy. Filthy dirty. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. I recognize some of these from movies, different TV shows. I mean, this stuff is so cool. I started with my obsession as both an actor and a makeup effects artist before I could speak. I would watch Adam West Batman and old Hammer horror movies with Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. I had always imagined that those actors were putting their own monster makeups on, right? So at a very young age, I started sculpting and painting, and um, it's been a long journey. I mean, I love that. You're just living your purpose. With credits ranging from the Hunger Games franchise to Star Trek Discovery, Glenn is responsible for bringing your favorite TV and movie creature characters to life from within his Alchemy Studios, while serving as a judge on the sci-fi hit series Face Off. I like the profile silhouette more than I do the front, but it's a bit droll to me. It's just expected out of the demon challenge. But before you're the badass, you start with the live cast. We're going to make a copy of your face so that we have an exact replica to sculpt your creature or your alien on. <laughs> I've been in hair and makeup chairs my whole life, but this is a different scenario. Doing great. That great. Whoa, that feels weird. How's it going? Mm. Well, that's very interesting. Anything else? Mm-mm. Okay, great. You look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is an exact copy of your face in negative. So now we're gonna take this away and we'll have to make a stone copy, but that's what all your hard work rendered. Isn't that cool? It looks cool. And having learned how a face cast is made, it's time to get downright dental. We need an exact replica of the teeth so that when we make creature teeth, they'll fit her teeth perfectly. Oh yeah, no pressure, I got this. Keep your mouth relaxed, open your mouth. That is gooey. <laughs> That's why I double glove, because hey. magic. I've never seen it from this angle, you know? Usually <laughs> the one at the dentist chair getting it done. Just give it a little shake, left to right. Oh yeah. Pull out, pull out. Yeah, girl. Boom. Boom. Whoosh. So you're almost done, but not quite. Because no one leaves Alchemy Studios in one piece. You can't get out of here without some blood on you. Right, badass. Have a seat, and we'll get started with your first one. <laughs> <laughs> what we're working with today is something called the Cabo Transfer Appliance. This is about the fastest way you could possibly ever glue an appliance in someone's arm. And on films like The Hunger Games, where we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cuts and wounds that are building up, these things are awesome, because it allows you to maintain continuity, yeah. putting the same scar on in the same place every day. And what are you doing right now? And once it's on there, we just take a little bit of alcohol, and you see if you go over the edges, those edges are alcohol soluble, so they'll just dissolve right away, and that thing's blended off. We're gonna layer several of these in different places and make it look like you've been in a nasty accident or a bad fight. So if you've got a creature that you've got to make, how do you find the identity of that creature? Every great creature that you love, like the alien queen and aliens, like you start to find that there's a common thread in those creatures and it is paying incredibly close attention to combining human anatomy with either insect or reptilian or mammalian. The reason that works is because no one really knows what a demon looks like, right? But if you make this demon so off the wall and goofy that it doesn't resonate and emote a very specific thing, totally, it won't be scary. Yeah. Or it'll be funny or it'll be sad. You don't even think about that. You're like, oh, I'm watching a movie. Look at this cool creature. But there's been so much thought process and ideas and history and everything that's gone in to make it. I'm going to step away so that I don't get covered in blood. That's your job today. Got you covered. <laughs> Wow, that looks crazy, man. That looks awesome. Ooh, seen better days. Can I try one? Yeah. yeah. Should I have gloves on? If you like. Smack, smack you right here. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. <laughs> when do we get to the blood? Get her bloody. Yeah, baby. Oh, whoops, oh. sorry. She's the bleeder. <laughs> Your first professional Hollywood effect. Just adding to the collection I've already got. Glenn! You have done an absolutely amazing job today, so much so that I would give you a hug, but 
You're a little too bloody and a little too dirty for that. You don't want none of this, Glenn? Not right now, thank you. Okay. And while everyone can appreciate just how much work goes into making a creature masterpiece by watching the new season of Face Off in 2018. I don't know how did these celebrities sit there forever doing this. It's important to remember that getting into the makeup is only half of this very dirty job.